The turkey's cooling and before you can say, how did we get to this point? Black Friday has started on Thursday. Instead of wading into that mess blind, we thought it might be good to kind of make a little bit of a guide. Hi folks, it's Falcon and today on Game Ranks, our guide to your Black Friday deals. So before we get into it, we have to note that this is primarily focused in North America and keep in mind that these deals are subject to change because stuff sells out all weekend and new announcements are also made. We'll link everything we can in the description here and it is most of them that you can buy online, but some of these are physical store deals. So, I mean, you'll have to go there. So let's start off with some pretty good console deals. Amazon currently has a deal running on PS4 Slim as a Spider-Man bundle that costs a hundred dollars less than a ps4 slim without spider-man so i would say definitely check that one out if you do end up missing that price on amazon the same deal is actually available at quite a few big box stores from walmart to target to even kohl's and if you buy it at kohl's you get 60 dollars in kohl's cash i'm not sure what else you might buy there but 60 dollars GameStop also has it. Call ahead though. If you head over to Walmart, you can get a Nintendo Switch with Mario Kart 8 for $2.99, which is a pretty damn good deal when you consider that Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is $60. There's a couple of great Xbox One deals. The first is an Xbox One S with one terabyte of space and Minecraft for just $199. Pretty similar to the Spider-Man PS4 Slim deal in that you get the console for less than you would have to pay for the console and you get a game with that. Now delving into things that you can get with your consoles that aren't specifically games, Best Buy has a deal on two Nintendo Switch Labo kits for just $99, and when you consider that these kits basically rock bottom at around $60, if you're buying two, that's at least $20 off. I know a lot of people were like, it's cardboard though. As it turns out, kids really like it, and it's pretty damn durable. So especially for parents thinking about that, it's a good deal. With PlayStation, they are offering a 12-month membership to PlayStation Plus plus for $40 on Amazon, which is literally a third of the price knocked off. It's normally $60. And considering what you get for that, which is a bunch of semi-free games, and I say semi-free because you have paid for the membership, but you don't pay any extra, and the games are often AAA. I mean, I've gotten some great titles off of this. Honestly, the full price for PlayStation Plus membership is, in essence, a huge discount on a bunch of games. So to get that at a discount is great. Also on Amazon is a pretty good PSVR bundle. If you remember the launch price for the core set, which was just some game demos and the headset itself was $3.99. This deal has it for just $199 with two full games, both platformers, so a different sounding choice, but these are both good games. And even just considering the price, it's, it's just a good deal. We've been trying to keep track of some Amazon deals for some specific games, but they run out fast. So I wanna give you a real quick list of some really, really, really good deals you can get at some stores. For games like Horizon Zero Dawn, it's literally $9 at GameStop. Doom is $12 at Walmart. If you head over to Target for Wolfenstein 2, the new Colossus, it's only $15 there. And let me just go ahead and say the Wolfenstein games. The new Wolfenstein games, oh lordy, they are good. Worth way more than $15. There's also a lot of other store deals. You can get Assassin's Creed Odyssey at Target for 35, Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy for 25. Nope, these store deals are probably even more subject to change than any internet ones and may not apply locally. So make sure you go in and ask or even call ahead. If you're looking for a good headset that is compatible with all of your gaming platforms, the $99 HyperX Cloud 2 gaming headset is on sale for $69.99 right now on Amazon. And like I said, it doesn't matter which platform you're using, you're gonna be able to use this with it. And it's a very comfortable, very nice headset. Honestly, smartly enough, there are a few good deals as far as each console's controller is concerned as well. The DualShock 4 is going for $38.99 on Amazon and it's normally $60. The Xbox One controller is going for $45.90, which is again, very good on account it also goes for $60. And the Nintendo Switch Pro controller is going for $59.99, which sounds like a bad deal when you consider the other two are $60 at their normal price, but the normal price for the Pro controller is $70. On the PC side of things, we've got a few good deals, including some Corsair Vengeance LPX 32GB DDR4 
2400 RAM. It's actually two 16 gigabyte sticks, but keep in mind Corsair's is pretty high performance, and instead of spending $282 on it, you're spending $199 over the Black Friday quote unquote holiday. If you're looking to upgrade your PC's processor, the Intel Core i7 8700K, which is a six core up to 4.7 gigahertz processor, is going for $339.99, which is pretty good. It's not a huge reduction or anything. It's about a $40 reduction. That's a pretty good price for a good processor. A slightly more drastic reduction is the AMD Ryzen 7 1700 processor, which does come with a cooler. Normally marked at 329 is actually only 199 right now. The Ryzen 7 2700, which is basically the same deal, but a beefier processor, lists at 299. It costs 249 right now. Still a very good deal. And if you're in the market for an AMD processor, Amazon's the place to go for that right now. Very good pricing. And finally, we've got a couple of pretty good deals on some graphics cards. First, the MSI Gaming GeForce RTX 2080, which is a 256-bit, 8 gigabyte GDDR6. Pretty beefy card. That lists at 929 and it costs 849 right now. So you can get one for 80 bucks less than it lists for. And considering the last few years, of graphics card pricing that's pretty all right asus also has a pretty good one their geforce rtx 2080 very similar card coming in and actually less i mean it lists less it's 839 but if you're looking for a card in that area amazon's got this one at 799 currently again like i said there's new deals being announced pretty much all the time so even just when you go to Amazon, hunt around a little bit, you may find something that you want. That's kind of the nature of the online version of Black Friday. Try to be responsible. Don't feel too bad if you miss a deal. And if you end up going out to any stores, try to be safe. Remember, there's a lot of people that are going to be out and Black Friday isn't exactly known for its lack of injuries. Did we direct you towards any good deals? Leave us a comment. Let us know. And if you like this video, please click like. If you're not subscribed, now's a great time to do so. We upload brand new videos every day of the week, and the best way to see them first is, of course, a subscription. Click subscribe, and do not forget to click the notification bell. As always, we thank you very much for watching this video. I'm Falcon. You can follow me on Twitter, at Falcon the Hero, and we'll see you next time, right here on Game Ranks.